Human sexuality is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, uh, hey, hi, by the way, welcome to a bedtime vlog. I know, it's a touchy subject for a bedtime vlog. I just think it's such a, such a squandering going on right now of beautiful, creative energy amongst humanity, uh, highly influenced by pornography and just kind of this general checking out, this general not showing up, this general not fully being present that much of humanity, including me at times, is uh, bringing to the table with our sexuality. And I just want to put in my little vote for, uh, hey, we can do better. Let's be fully present. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's get to know each other. Let's figure out what makes us happy and what we and what we don't prefer and share that with each other instead of just hiding, instead of just pretending uh, like we're happy when we're not, instead of just going through motions that we're not sure why we're going through. It's absurd to me. I just recently had a uh, what felt very much like date rape, and for all intents and purposes was a date rape. Um, and I use that term because the date part being, you know, was somebody that I like, somebody that I was getting to know, somebody that I invited into my life under, you know, assuming that I was safe to set certain boundaries regarding my sexuality and then had those violated. And, and I'm, and I'm, happy with myself for my ability to stick with the scenario and be strong enough to talk to this person after a few days of processing and and um, and share my perspective and and realize which I'd kind of realized initially that that his actions were you know un he was not aware of how he was making me feel violated. He was following through what he perceives to be regular actions. And I know from my experiences in all these decades now that that is so common. Um, I feel lucky that I got to have an adult human-to-human -human conversation with what could have been my perpetrator, what was at a time my perpetrator, and come to some expanded understanding between the two of us. And I think if, if more of us could do that before there was a violation, uh, we could really, you know, help each other be less wounded sexually and, again, tap into that potential that's so beautiful, such a beautiful aspect of humanity that's not only being underutilized but is being twisted up and used to hurt each other in ways that um, is just squandering so much beautiful energy. <laughs> That's my thoughts about that. I'm going to go to sleep and get some sweet dreams and not squander any of my sexual energy tonight. I'd love to know if you have any thoughts about that. I know it's a deep subject. <laughs> There's lots of ways you can connect with me and support me if you care to. Look in the description. And until next time, I wish you love, laughter, lightheartedness, healthy sexuality, peaceful conflict resolution, playfulness, and sweet dreams.